Hi guys, um, welcome to my FBA side of my Jan uh, fe sorry February sales video uh, for 2016. So I'll, I'll start off. Uh, this is a Hello Children Everywhere CD. Uh, this was um, twenty pounds. So As uh, one to try and keep your eye out for if you can see it. But um, I basically had this in a big job lot of CDs, and then I just scanned it into Amazon, and then <clears throat> it was a bit of, it was worth a bit of money. Um, next one is Spire into the Dragonfly that's on Platinum for £10 and I seem to sell that one <coughs> very regularly so yeah one to look out for certainly for a PS2 game uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force Evolution another one to look out for on the PS2 uh, 11.45 for that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! is usually always good um, there's not really many exceptions, although one or two of the games can be exceptions, but mainly it's good. Uh, Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth, as we all know, uh, Battle for Middle Earth is decent. This is £14 I got for that, and the price on eBay is nowhere near that, so it just shows you the difference that you can get with FBA, you can get that premium price. <laughs> um, now, these this Home Alone on PS2, you're going to think, oh, there's no way you can get £20 for that. Well, yeah, it, it, it is true. Um, you, what this was is actually a new, um, this was brand new and sealed actually, this Home Alone game. This is only like probably like a three, four pound game used. But brand new and sealed, someone picked it off for 20 quid. So I don't know why people want to pay that big, big premium just because it's new. But, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm happy if they're willing to do that. It's always good with the new stuff. If you can get anything new and sealed, I'd always send it off to the F FBA because you will get that premium price. You really will. Um, and, and also if you get the buy, buy box as well, you've got so much more likelihood that someone's going to click that buy button and you're going to get that sale. Um, but anyway, uh, Jack Free on the PS2, another one to look out for, uh, that's £10, or just to be aware of anyway, maybe not to look out for, but you know what I mean. Uh, Fallout Free, um, this is interesting, this one. Uh, Zova Socks was selling it, for, I think, for like... At one point, it went down to about five or six pounds, even, and then I on FBA I was able to sell it for fourteen pounds. So it just shows you the difference between Merchant Fulfilled and FBA again. Just ask your premium price and and stick to your guns and say I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold that there. I'm going to hold that price, and you can get it usually. Now and again, you will have to reduce, but I'd always stick it up there for at least three months and just see what happens. See if it gets picked off. If it doesn't, you know, you can always come down. Um, Trivial Pursuit War of the Wedges, uh, that was uh, sort of like a, one of those sort of little travel size Trivial Pursuit things. Um, that's £7, not bad sale. Another Yu Gi Oh! Power of the Chaos, uh, Joey, Joey the Passion PC, it was £21, that was. Um, so, yeah, um, try and keep your eyes out for Yu Gi Oh! basically, just anything Yu Gi Oh! is good. Um, Grand Ages Medieval and PS4, one of the sort of more newish games. Um, uh, this one I actually brought off uh, it's a local sale. Uh, I think I paid probably probably about eight pounds I think for this, but I got twenty, so uh, you know it's not fantastic, but it's decent. Um, Resident Evil Five Platinum. Uh, that was seven Resident Evil Five. You don't really get much for, but again, FBA just you can ask that premium price, and if it's in, um, if it's in very good condition. I mean, everything I send to FBA has to be in almost mint condition for me to send it. I find, I find it's just not worth it otherwise. You're just probably just gonna, you know, you can get away with it now and again, one or two, but most of them most amazon customers are going to be that little bit more fussy than ebay so you're better off just sending off your best quality media to there if you're sending media or if you in effect any items just send off your best items if you can um lego lord of the rings this was actually new and sealed this one in charity shopping i paid four pounds for this and i got 13 pounds so again not amazing profit but enough uh call of duty black ops and the ps3 it was six pounds nothing special there uh, Sims Free Ambitions. This was literally in a, in if you've watched the previous uh, uh, previous video, this will be in that, which is basically uh, in a Sims Free bundle, which I brought. Uh, I paid probably no more than four pounds for this one, and I got uh, eighteen pounds. So 
you know, you can ask for that little bit more of a premium on the on these sort of Sims three games. I find Liberator Audio CD. I don't know what this is, but it was I scanned it in, came up with some money, and you know, came up it was actually worth some money, so I sent it in and sold. So it's all good. Um, Sims three late night, sixteen pounds ninety five, seventeen pounds. Uh, again, in the same bundle that I got. Big Sims 3 bundle. Uh, ben 10, Protect of Earth. This was a brand new and sealed game again on the PS2, £15. Again, that's only like a three, four pound game used, but just shows you you know the difference. Now this is this is certainly one to look out for. This really actually is a bow though. Jack and Daxter, The Lost Frontier. If you can remember that, remember that title. It comes in an orange box, actually. That's one thing to look out for. If it can, if you can see any orange boxes generally on PlayStation Two, always just just have a look. It'll be like an orange case. I mean, like an, uh, the retail case will be orange. Um, some of them are like eye toy ones, which aren't worth anything. But some of them can be like really quite unique games. So yeah, um, I got twenty seven ninety five and actually paid some shipping on top as well. So yeah, really happy with twenty eight pounds from that. I only paid two pounds, I think, on the charity shop for that. So. Yeah, probably the best sale, FBA sale of that month, of February. Um, time Splits 2, just a standard £7 for that. I sell Time Splits 2 all the time. and I generally try and aim for 6 or 7 on FBA and see what happens. And that actually sold for 7 so I was happy about that. And then the Sims 3 Generations, this again was from that Sims 3 bundle. Uh, probably paid no more than 3 to £4 for it per game. And I got 15 for that one. So, hope you like that, guys. Um, I'm um, going to try and keep getting some more videos out. I've got a bit of a new video idea, which I want to um, give a go, but I'm not going to reveal too much about it at the moment. But uh, if you just subscribe to my channel is all I'm going to say. There might be something a bit different coming on one of my videos soon. So, yeah, uh, hope to see you in the next video, guys. See you later. Take care.